When you first start out on Scratch, having zero followers can kind of seem unfair. I mean, you spent hours on multiple projects just to get a couple views and sometimes hoping one day you'll get front page or trending. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you hidden tips and tricks that really helped me reach over 1,000 followers on Scratch and how you can get thousands of views in a matter of days. We're going to be going over the three main steps to creating and advertising the perfect project and if you actually follow these tips, I can almost guarantee getting 100 followers in under a month. This is the full guide to Scratch popularity. So, how does Scratch trending slash explore page actually work? Now, every day or so, the Scratch algorithm searches for projects that have a certain amount of views or loves and faves. That minimum changes every day and depends on what's currently trending. Typically though, if your project gets around 200 views and 60 loves within the first day, you have a pretty good shot at getting on trending. Now, the question is, how do we get that first 200 views and loves in the first 24 hours? Before I show you any methods of advertising and strategies, let's learn how to make a good project in the first place. Now, while I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a project, I will give you some basic guidelines and rules, and as long as your project follows them somewhat, you should be good to go. In general, your project should not have any bugs. Bugs will absolutely destroy how your project looks, and it's really bad for your popularity specifically. Second of all, it needs to have a good thumbnail. A thumbnail essentially is the image that everyone sees before they click on your project, and I don't really expect everyone to have a good thumbnail immediately, mainly because this is something that takes a bit of time and practice. But just know, the better your thumbnail, the better your project will perform, and I've seen this time and time again. Third, your project cannot be rated NFE. NFE basically means any type of project that the Scratch team doesn't think is for little kids. This means anything too inappropriate, too violent, too gory, or too scary. This is actually a hidden ranking system, and if your project is actually rated this by Scratch moderators, um, it's essentially shadow banned, and that means that the project is impossible to get on trending or front page. Once your project is rated this, it cannot be repealed. Um, so, yeah. Um, the only way to tell if your project is NFE is by using the Scratch Tools add-on, which can be found on the Chrome Web Store, link in the description. However, getting rated like this is extremely rare, so I wouldn't really be too worried about it. Lastly, the project ID needs to be as small as possible. This has to do with how Scratch checks for possible trending projects, and obviously if your project meets the requirements, you want to be the first one to get selected. Um, the best way i found to get around this is just to find a really old untitled project that you've made in the past with the low ID, um, and then upload your project there. Typically, I would try to find a project under 1 billion and just use that, but if you can't, it's totally okay. Just remember the smaller the ID the project has, the higher chance you have to get untrended. Before I move on to the next part, I just want to quickly ask y'all to subscribe. This video has been in the works for quite a while now, it took so much time and research, so if y'all want more tutorials like this, please don't hesitate to drop a like or a comment. Alright, so now that we have our project, how do we advertise correctly? Now there's several right and wrong ways to do this, and to make sure everyone understands them, I'm going to go through both. First of all, do not use the show and tell forum. Um, honestly, I've tested this quite a bit back in the day, and it really doesn't do much. Sometimes the max views I get is like around 50, but honestly, it's just not worth your time. Secondly, do not spam advertise. Literally on every featured project, you can find some of these comments begging to look at his or her game. This is when you send a link to a Scratch project with very little information, most of the time just saying, please check out my project. This advertising is arguably the worst, and if you do it enough, it can actually get you reported and even banned in some cases. In terms of effectiveness, it's really not that good either. I mean, when someone posts a random link on my profile, I just don't have the intention of clicking on it, and most of the time, I just ignore it. Okay, so now we know not what to do. It's time to farm those views. There's two new recent methods that both work pretty well, and me, among other scratchers, have both tried and tested it, and so far, it hasn't really failed us, and it's done really well. 
Um, the first one is called Studio Spam. This is basically when you try to add projects into as many studios as you can, typically ones with lots of followers. Um, and I'm not even talking about three or five or 10 studios, I'm talking about like 50 to 100, if not more. Um, the way this works is every time you add a project to a studio, all of the followers of the studio get a message from the activity. And about uh, maybe under a quarter of the time, people are going to go check the studio and maybe view your project. For example, you might have heard of Bending Arena, a project that went viral a few months ago. And just look at how many studios in here. Um, what I would personally do is I would just search up random terms like maybe the word popular or a game, and then go to the studios tab. And from here, I would just add it to as many as I possibly could. This takes quite a while, but honestly, it's so worth it and the results are amazing. Now, the second method is actually one that Viper, the scratcher who's mastered the art of getting on trending, taught me himself. And I've got to admit, it's pretty brilliant, the sponsor of today's video. Brilliant is an online learning program where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. If you didn't already know, one of my main reasons for recent inactivity was actually because I just started high school, and boy oh boy, there's a lot of homework. Thanks to Brilliant, I've been able to stay ahead of my classes with their selection of STEM courses. And instead of boring teacher lectures, Brilliant offers interactive lessons to really help you understand and absorb the learning material. Like bro, this is so freaking cool. If you ever wanted to turn your scratch skills into something a little more serious, I would really consider Brilliant and everything it has to offer. By going to brilliant.org slash project labs, they're offering a 30 day free trial and a 20% off annual premium subscription. Thanks again to Brilliant.org for sponsoring today's video. Okay, the second method, actually this time, is called Profile Advertising, which is actually really simple. Basically, you're just going to want to go to find random people in the Scratch community with at least 100 followers or more. And you're basically going to go onto the profile and comment something like this. I really like your projects and I'm trying to become a good coder like you. I was wondering if you'd be down to quickly review this project for me, put the link here, and thanks. So, you're buttering them up with some basic praise. Now, if I was receiving this, I would be like, oh, thanks. But at that point, I would kind of feel obligated to rate or review his project at least, since they went this far to comment this. So, at this point, I would click on the link and I'd maybe look at the Scratcher's profile or maybe the project. And let's just say, hypothetically, that I like or follow the Scratcher. Now, all of my followers will receive this message on their What's Happening board, and boom, that's another 100 people who have just been notified about my project. And of course, the larger scratchers you reach out to, the more and more views you will get. I personally haven't really tested this method too much, it's kind of new to me, but Viper has done this multiple times and he tends to do pretty well with this type of stuff. These two methods are some of the best out there right now, but it does take quite a bit of time and dedication. If you're looking for a method that gets you quick views and quick followers, but okay not getting on trending or front page, my last tip for this video is to use the SDS, also known as the Scratch Design Studio. This studio can be found on the Scratch front page, and it's also one of the most underrated things to exist on Scratch. Basically, this studio has a theme which alternates every month or so, and you can submit Scratch projects that fit that theme. Once they're added by creators, there's a high chance you and many other Scratchers will see it on the front page. This method is how I got around 500 followers combined with these two accounts, and it's honestly one of my favorite ways because it's how I got one of my first projects to a couple thousand views overnight. Other than that, I really hope you learned something new from this video. It took quite a bit of coordinating and research. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.